Hello, this is Mrs White and we are on our fifth and final lesson on time. And after all the work we've done with understanding the different units of time and also we've looked at converting time, now we're going to do some problem solving. So using all the skills that we have learned. Um, our first slide is a refresher of everything that we've had to go at, looked at. So we've got the time telling, knowing that the slot between the numbers, if it's the minute hand between two numbers is five minutes. If it's an hour hand, it's one hour if they travel from one number to the next number. Then we've got analog and digital clocks and also notice that one of the digital clocks is a 24 hour. All the vocabulary we've been using and then the use of bar models that we've had. Right, so we'll now move on to our first question. I've removed my picture because there's a lot on this screen. So we have got two people, Jen and Toshi, who are on an expedition to the North Pole. So here Jen says, we have been training for this expedition for 30 months. We are so close. And Toshi then says, really important this, I have only enough woolly socks to last me another three weeks. So question one, how many years have the explorers been training for this expedition? So it's a conversion. We know it's 30 months and we're going to convert 30 months to years. So we need to know our fact. And the fact that we need to know is that each year has 12 months. So there's 12 months in each year. So here we've used a bar model and we've got 30 months and we split them into groups of 12. So we've got 12 months there, 12 months there, which is a total of 24 months. So to get up to 30, we need another six months. So we know 12 months is one year, 12 months is one year, six months is actually half a year. So we know that 30 months is the same as two and a half years. And now we're going to do I think another conversion because we know the North Pole is 20 days walk away and Toshi does he have enough socks to make it for the whole journey so he knows he's got socks for three weeks so we now need to convert weeks to days easiest way to do it so three weeks we've got three weeks here and we know that one week is the same as seven days so three lot of sevens so three sevens are 21. So Toshi will have 21 days worth of socks and he only needs 20 days. So he has got enough socks. Right, now we're going to move on to our next question. And we have Jen and Toshi. Who is quicker at putting their socks on in the cold? So Jen says, it takes me three minutes and 14 seconds to put my socks on in the cold. And Toshi has timed his in seconds. He takes him 203 seconds. So we need to work out which is the less amount of time. So we're going to do just as we did with the bar model in the past. We're going to put our three minutes as three separate one minutes. So one minute, one minute, one minute, and then 14 seconds left here. And we know, one of our facts that we know is one minute is the same, excuse my writing, as 60 seconds. So we know we now have three lots of 60. So three times 60, well, I'm gonna do that an easy way first. I'm going to do three times six is 18. So I know three times 60 is 10 times bigger than that. So I know it's 180. And then I've got to add 14. So I know 194 seconds. So Jen takes 194 seconds here. And I'm going to write down here. I'm going to put 194 here seconds and we know 194 is less than so we're going to use the less than symbol 203 so we know it is Jen who is quicker down here we have somebody saying 
I can think of a different way to convert these times to find the answer. And that's a really good point because you can convert it either way that you want to. So we've converted the minutes into seconds, but we could have converted Toshi's seconds into minutes. And if we did that, we could think, right, how many complete minutes, how many 60s are there in 200? So we've got 60, 120, and then we'll, 60 more is 180. If we go up to the next one, it's 240, so that's too much. So we know 180 of his seconds is the same as three minutes. And then we're going to see what's left. So if we take 180 away from 203, we know that that, that is a zero. We know that that's 23 seconds. So Tosh's time is three minutes and 23 seconds. And if we look at that, then we know it's nine seconds difference. So you could have converted it either way, whichever you're happiest with. Here's some good questions that we've got on this page, which um, cover exactly what I was talking about um, on the previous page, about you choosing which one you want to convert it to. And the choice is yours. So, as I've just said, with these questions, this is going to show that we can convert. Whichever way we convert something, we should get the same answer. So, I'm going to try it with this question here. Which tin of food needs to be used first? So, we've got tin A that has to be used by within 30 days, so by 30 days, and tin B, which is used by four weeks. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert tin A into weeks, from days into weeks. So we've got our, our bar model here, so we've got 30 days, and we know that 30 days is made up of 7, 14, 21, 28 plus 2. And we know that each of these lots of seven days is equivalent to one week. So we've got one week there, one week there, one week there, one week there. And we know that that's four weeks and also two days. So when we've done that conversion, this is four weeks and two days, this is four weeks. So we know that um, which tin of food needs to be used first. We know it's tin B using our conversion that way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to convert B into day. So we know A is 30 days and B is four weeks. And we know that each week is equivalent to seven days. So we're going to do four weeks multiplied by seven which equals 28 days. So this time, when we compare the two numbers, 28 is less than 30. So again, converting into days, we still know that it's tin B that needs to be used first. So whichever way you convert something, that doesn't matter, you will get the right answer. Right, question three, how could you compare? So here we've got these two ways and we could look at different ways of comparing this. So we could compare three hours and 45 minutes to 200, meter, 200 minutes rather. So three hours, we know there's 60 minutes in each hour. So it's three lots of 60. So three lots of six are 18. So 10 times bigger, three lots of 60 is 180 add 45 so if we add 45 here we know that that is 225 minutes there so we know that 225 minutes is greater than 200 minutes okay but equally for this one we could have converted it the other way and we could have converted the 180 the, sorry, the 200 into hours. So again, we know that three hours is equivalent to 180. So we know that would be three hours and we would have um, 20 minutes left. So it's three hours and 20 minutes. And when you do it that way, again, that number is greater. So whichever way you do it, you still get the right answer. And then let's look at four and a half years and 50 months. I'm going to do it over here. So we have four and a half years, and we're comparing that with 50 months. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a Y there and an M there. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, change 
so that all the units are the same, I'm going to change the 50 into years. So 12, because we know there's 12 months in year, 12, 24, 36, 48. We know that's four years and two months. So we know that this one is smaller, don't we? we know four and a half years is greater. And now this time, let's convert this into months. So four lots of 12, is going to be 48 and half a year is six so plus six so 48 plus six is 54 and again we know that this side is greater than 50 months so whichever way you do it you still get the same answer right now it's your turn so we have three questions here so I'm going to ask you to pause and when you're ready then you can play through and we've got the answers and I'll show you the next page. You will also have these sheets um, on the home learning page if you, if you want to fill in the sheets, otherwise write your answers on a piece of paper. So pause this page for questions one to three and then this is for your questions four, five and reflect. So pause it until you're ready to do the answers. Right, let's find the answers. So question one, two teams of explorers raced each other to be the first to climb to the top of a mountain. They completed four different stages until they reached the top. This is a record of their climb. So we've got team A and team B, and it tells us how long each stage has taken. Who completed stage one first? So we're just working on this area. And we know team B completed it in 10 days. So I'm going to complete convert um, team A's in two days. One week equals seven days, plus two is nine days. So I would say team A is quicker than team B because team A took nine days, team B took 10 days. Right, how long did it take team B to complete stages one and two all together? So we're looking at this one and two. So it's 10 days plus 13 days. So we know it's 23 days, but they want us to convert it into weeks and days. So 23 days. So I haven't drawn it as a bar model, but it's very much like a bar model because I've got seven days, seven days, seven days, because that's seven, 14, 21, and I've still got two more to make 23. So that's seven, 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 and two. And I know seven days is equal to one week. So it's three weeks and two days. Right, and then let's have a look at C. Which team reached the summit first and by how many days? Okay, so let's have a look. <clears throat> so we're going to start with um, team A. I'm just going to work it out. So team A have got one week and two days, two weeks, one week and four days, two weeks and one day. So I'm going to count all the weeks up first. So at one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got six weeks here. Then let's count the days. Two plus four is six plus one is seven. So six weeks and seven days. And we know seven days is equivalent to a week. So it's seven weeks. So seven weeks with seven days in a week. Seven times seven is 49 days. Right, let's work out um, team B. And we'll just add them up. So 10 plus 13 is 23. Plus 11 is 34. Um, plus 10, 34. 44 plus 7 is 51. So it's taken um, team B 51 days. So team A reached the summit two days before team B. Right, moving on to question two. We have got um, a table of athletics world records and we want they want us to convert the times into different units. So not all the same different ones. And the, the world record is in different units, some in seconds, some in minutes. So the men's 800 meters, it's one in 100 seconds, and they want us to convert it into minutes and seconds. So I've done 100 seconds is the same as 60 seconds and 40 seconds. I've cho chosen 60 seconds here because that's equivalent to one minute. So that's one minute and 40 seconds. Second one, women's. 1500 meters was 230 seconds, again, into minutes and seconds. So again, I'm looking at how many 60s, it's actually 230 and seeing how many 60s go into it. So I've looked at it in 230 divided by 60 is actually three whole times. So we've got 60, 120 and 180, and then 50 more seconds. So um, the 60 seconds is equivalent to one minute. So what, three minutes and 50 seconds. 
Number three, the men's 3,000 meters is 440 seconds. Right, well, actually, I'm using my seven and six times table knowledge, and I know that seven times six is 42. And six is important because there's 60 minutes, sorry, 60 seconds in a minute. So seven lots of 60 makes 420. So I know that'll be seven minutes. And how many have I got left? I've got 20 seconds left. So it's seven minutes and 20 seconds. Women's 20 kilometer walk is 75 minutes. So I'm going to do one, how many hours, how many minutes? One hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. So it'll be uh, one hour, 75 take away 60 leaves 15 minutes, so one hour and 15 minutes. And here the men's 50 kilometer walk is 212 minutes. So again, I'm going to use my 60 knowledge, my six times table knowledge, because I know three lots of 60 is 180. And what's left, so 212 take 180 leaves 32 minutes. So it's going to be three hours and 32 minutes. The classroom clock is analog. Zach's digital watch shows 24 hour times. It is 20 to 3 in the afternoon. What do the clock and the watch look like? So I'm going to do the analog clock here and I've got the answer here. 20 minutes, 20 to 3 is 20 minutes to 3. So I know my hour hand is traveling from the 2 to the 3. And as it's only 20 minutes to go, it'll be closer to the 3 than it's the 2. And then 20 minutes is 5, 10, 15, 20. So my minute hand is going to be on the 8. If I know something is 20 minutes to, I also know it's 40 minutes past. And this is actually also 40 minutes past 2. We've got to remember it's 2 in the afternoon. So we wouldn't say 2.40. We would have to add that 12 because it's in the afternoon. So 12 plus 2 is 14. So it's 14.40. Right, now moving on to question four. Here is information about the ages of four babies. So Abdul is 24 months, Ben is one year and 10 months, Keris is three months and older than Ben, and Dan is four months younger than Keris. So write the baby's name in the order from the youngest to the oldest. So we need to find them all, so we're going to convert them. And you could have converted them either way. I've chosen to convert them all into months, and then I can see what order they're in. So we know Abdul's 24 months, that's fine. Ben, one year and 10, so one year is 12, 12 plus 10, so Ben's 22 months. Keris is three months older than Ben, so 22 plus three is 25 months. And Dan is four months younger than Keris, so Keris is 25, minus four is 21. So let's do it in order. So Dan first at 21 months, Ben next at 22 months, Abdul third at 24 months, and Keris the eldest at 25 months. Question five, a bus takes 95 minutes to travel from the bus station to the retail park. It arrives at the retail park at 14.02. What time did it leave? So we're going backwards in time. So first of all, I'm going to convert 95 minutes and I'm going to convert it into hours and minutes. So 95, 60 minutes is one hour. So that leaves 35 minutes. So it's one hour, 35 minutes. And then I'm going to go backwards. So from two minutes past two in the afternoon, minus one hour takes me back to two minutes past one in the afternoon. And then I'm going to go back 35 minutes. So I'm going to um, chunk that into 32 in effect and three. So 32 takes me all the way back to half past 12, three more minutes back, it's 12.27. Write how you would convert 108 months into years explain it to a partner. So I would do division because we know there's 12 um, months in a year. So I would divide that number by 12. So 108 divided by 12. Well, I know my um, 12 times table, I know nine lots of 12 make 108. So I know 108 divided by 12 equals nine. So the answer is nine years. Right, so we've done all of time for year four. And this is our end of unit check. So pause this now and see how many questions you can get right. And I will give you the answers in a minute. Right, here are the answers. It takes Alice 
Netflix 180 seconds to run around the school field. What is another way of writing this time? So I'm going to do convert in my head and then see if I can find the answer here. So 180 seconds, well I know 60 seconds are in one minute. So three, lots of 60 is 180, so it'd be three minutes. Well, it's not 30 minutes and 7,200, that looks like they've multiplied 180 by 60, so I've got that wrong. It's certainly not three seconds, but it definitely is three minutes, so that's D. How could you find out the number of days in 21 weeks? All right, so we know that there's seven days in one week, so we want to know what 21 weeks look like. So it'll be 21 multiplied by seven. So it's A and none of the others. Right here, which time is not the same as others? Okay, so I'm going to look at this one. 3.52, well that's eight minutes to four, isn't it? And that's in the afternoon, PM. And then looking at analog, again, that's eight minutes to four. I'm going to jump six because it says eight minutes to four here. So all of those are saying the same time. And then this one is 4.52, well that's eight minutes to five, so C. Okay, is not telling the same time as the others. Question four, which of these 12 hour times is written correctly as a 24 hour time? So we've got to remember everything we learnt about 24 hour and we learnt that um, if it's in the afternoon, you add 12 on to the hour. We know that we don't need AM or PM and we know that we need four digits. So let's have a look at this one, A. 2.34 a.m. and then, oh, we made it 24. Well, if it's a.m., it, we don't need to change it. So that's wrong. That should be 0.234. 4.19 a.m. So we have a look at that. 0.4, so we've got four digits here. They've done just the same, which in the morning, it would be just the same, 0.419. And a.m., you don't need it. So B is looking like it's the likely one. So at the moment, I'm, I've got a tick next to B. Press the wrong button then. 7.30 a.m. Well, we know if it's 7.30 a.m., you don't convert the first time. It would be 07.30, but they've converted it, and that says 7.30 in the afternoon, so that's wrong. And 3.29 a.m., well, they've got that the same, 3.29, but they've forgotten it should be four digits. It should be 0.329. So B is the answer for four. Which of these lengths of time is the longest? One week. So one week is seven days, 75 days. Well, 75 days is longer than one week. So at the moment it's that 150 minutes. Well, 150 minutes, that's, well, that's going to be six, 12. That's two and a half hours. So that's not even a whole day. So it's not going to be that one. And then 240 hours. Well, we know there's 24 hours in um, one day. So 240 would be 10 days. So B is the answer at 75 days. Last question six, Amelia, Bella and Ebo won a race. Amelia's time is 85 seconds. So I've put that there. Bella finishes eight seconds before Amelia. So we're going to take away eight from 85. So she um, finished in 77 seconds. And I finished two seconds after Bella, so a bit later, so it's 79 seconds. So what is Ebo's time in minutes and seconds? So if we have a look at Ebo's time here, 79 seconds is the same as one minute. So take away um, 60 seconds for one minute. So it's one minute and 19 seconds. Well, that's the end of our time unit for year four. Really excited that we've done it all. I would love to know how you've got on. So please tell your teacher um, through email or tell me by posting something on the blog. And um, if you've got any questions, go back to your teachers to ask. I hope you've done really well. And um, it's been nice doing these videos with you. And thank you to those of you that have been contacting with me. And I hope you're all well and staying safe. And hopefully we'll be able to meet up, catch up sometime soon. We don't know. So take care, look after yourselves, and stay safe. It's Miss White saying goodbye. Thank you. <laughs>